Hi, good afternoon. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm hoping that this video will upload. I've been having terrible trouble with my YouTube. Still having trouble with my YouTube. Can't find out how to get things uploaded. I managed to get one video uploaded of, of Buster, very short one. But I had to go all the way around the houses to get to where I'm going. Normally my way in, it was not working. I just keep getting this, trying to upload. I can't even add the video. It just keeps going round and round and it says, try reloading or try the basic. So I tried the basic and it just didn't upload. I even tried uploading to Google and trying to upload that to YouTube. No. Anyway, fingers crossed today I managed by a devious route to get into YouTube another way. <laughs> So I just hope you can see. Right, today I've been sorting, clearing, doing whatever. Yesterday I was taking photos. If you're a, a watcher of my Urban Gypsy Crochet channel thing on Facebook, you'll know that I added like 32 photos yesterday because I was sorting through what I've actually got made up upstairs and there was just a tremendous amount. So things are going to have to change, can't afford the space. Um, I've been doing my baby crochet sort out. Oops, don't know whether you can see this behind me. This is one of my own patterns. A lot of these are my own patterns, so please don't ask for patterns for them because mostly there isn't a pattern. Um, I made them to sell, not to um, not make patterns up or anything like that. This one is, oh, one of my particular favourites. This one. It's in my favourite stitch. If you're in the US, it's one double crochet, one single crochet, alternating, you know, the row afterwards you do it the other way. If you're a knitter it looks rather like moss stitch, so that's another one. Right, I'm going to go through these rather quickly. This I may give to my niece because she doesn't like frilly fancy things and I think that comes under the heading of not frilly fancy, although it's colourful. This is another maybe for my niece. This is uh, stripes done sideways and it's got the little butterflies on, I don't know whether you can see it or not. Again, it's another one of my patterns, in my head patterns, so not written down. Please don't ask. <laughs> um, this one actually came from a book, but I can't remember what it was. I think it was Simple Crochet in a Day. This one's made in cotton. And it has a, oops, a hat somewhere. I think I'm sitting on the hat somewhere. Anyway, it does have a hat somewhere. I'm sure we'll come across it shortly. Um... This one's a pattern, I think it was by Mumper TV or Long. It looks short armed, but it is actually a three quarter sleeve on the pattern. So it does look a little bit, I'm undecided whether I like it or not, whether it looks a bit chopped off as if it should have longer sleeves. But I didn't have any more yarn, so I couldn't make it into longer sleeves. This one is another one, I can't remember where the pattern came from. And anyway, knowing me, I probably adapted it somewhere. Um, this one is a pattern. I'm just trying to remember whose it is. No, it defeats me. It could be just for crochet or it could be, oh the other lady, I can't remember her name, what makes the frilly things. Uh, it's a very very frilly little cardigan. Very very pretty but I won't be giving it to my niece because she just wouldn't like that sort of thing. And it does have a little very frilly fancy bonnet that goes with it. That one is my own pattern by the way, there is no pattern for the bonnet. Um, this one is another little set. It's got the little pink rose buds on it and it has a little bonnet that goes with it that also has the little rose buds on. Um, this is one of my favourite patterns, it's an emu one, but it's very, very old, but I think you can still pick a copy up on um, Etsy. It's very, very pretty. This one is definitely one of Just Crochet's patterns. Heather Just Crochet. Oops. Can't tell you the numbers or anything, you'll have to go and look at her side. And that is the bonnet that actually came with the pattern. So you can do the bonnet, it's got like peak sticking up on it, not what you can see. Um, this is just another little sort of plainish one, just done with the green flowers and the bonnet is the same. 
got the little green flowers on it. This is another one that are my designs. <laughs> That's just a brightly coloured one and it does have, oops, I'm sure I've seen the hat a minute ago. I don't know what I've done with these hats, I must have sat on them or something. Oh, there's the hat for the blue and white one, isn't it? the blue and cream one. Found that. Well, there is a bonnet, I'm sure, that goes with that. Well, a, a cap. This one is another little plainish one with the big wide sleeves. It's done in a sort of a nylon -y fabric, this. I don't know what it was. It's got a little beanie hat that fastens with a ribbon, like a sun hat style, I think. Um, this is a three piece outfit. It's a dress that comes with a jacket and a hat. So that's three pieces that one that outfit is. Oh, there's a little hat that went with that little uh, jacket I showed you before. This one is another of um, Heather just for crochets patterns. That one. It's got the collar that goes all the way back. The back. That comes with a hat that's got pom poms either side. And it did have two shoes, but I can't find the second shoe. So that's one shoe. <laughs> so I'm afraid it will probably have to be sold without shoes. Um, this is another of my favourite little patterns. It's the one that I did for um, my niece, but I did hers in without the rosebuds. I don't think she'd like the rosebuds, but I don't know. I can only ask her sister. Kathy, if you're watching, do you like rosebuds? <laughs> Right, this one is another one that I made up. It's done in cotton again, this one. It's got the teddy bears on it. It's got the little hat with the teddy bears. It's got the little buttons for the eyes. Um, this one is, again, using one of Heather's patterns, but the teddy bear doesn't come on the pattern. I amended it. It's a sort of an all-in-one romper. And it's got a little jacket that fits over it. It's only a short jacket. And I put the little teddy on it, that's not on the pattern. Um, that's a little hat that goes with it. Um, gosh, I'm running out of room here. This is um, a three-piece outfit again. It's a little dress. Little dress that comes with its jacket. Oops, jacket. And the little booties. Um, another one of my favourite style I'm always doing, that's in yellow. That's really tiny, so it would probably suit a little... I was going to say a reborn, but I don't know because it's got a wide neck and they're reborns. They don't like the neck to be showing because it shows the join or something, I don't know. Um, oh, this one's got it still, but it's really attached. This one's another outfit. It's a jacket. This one, again, is... Um, a Heather Just Crochet uh, pattern design and it's got its little, they're not short pants, they're actually capri pants, they are meant to be short and it's got a little pair of booties that go with it and uh, yeah it has a bonnet as well. I think I've followed the pattern with this, I think they're all on the pattern, you know if you buy the pattern I think they're all on it. This is another one that I made up Again, in the stitch that I like doing, you know, the one double crochet, one single crochet, then you alternate on the other side. Excuse me a minute, I'm getting a bit dry. Still using your... Uh... Cheryl got me that one. <laughs> That's another one that I made up. Just got the little flowers added on. They're just basic cardigans with her, and I just like to do my own addition. I always call them my trademark flowers. The only thing I've got now is you'll have to excuse these because they, oh, they're not ironed because I've just been fishing them all out. That's the little dresses that have fabric at the bottom and uh, crochet at the top. Uh, there's a little headband that goes with that. And 
Oh, this is a little, like a lilac-y coloured one with a white and lilac underneath. And that comes with a white and lilac headband. Again, if anyone wants to buy these, of course, I won't be hiring them. Um, that's another little one there. I decided to do them last year, but I did them a little bit late for the summer. So obviously they didn't sell. So I'm hoping that they will be resurrected again for this the summer coming. <laughs> I forgot all about them this summer. That's another one. Again, there's no patterns for any of these, so please don't ask. And then that's another one. It has the brown. I think that one's got a little headband to it somewhere along the line. But of course, as usual, I've probably lost them. I think these are the last two now. There's a little waistcoaty pattern. I'm sure that was a, a pattern. I think that was a hayfield pattern, maybe. Maybe a hayfield pattern. Not sure. This again is another one that I made up myself, doing the same stitch that I like all the time, which is like, you know, the double crochet, single crochet. I think it gives a nice fabric. Looks a little bit like knitting really, doesn't it? And that also comes with a little hat. Right, where am I up to with my shawl? My order shawl I'll show you next video because I finished it all apart from half a row um, on the border. But it's got to the stage where it's huge. So half a row on the border is quite a, a lot really. Um, I think that's all I've got to say really, apart from uh, I've had a good week, met a few people. Um, you know, a few friends. I went up for a coffee with one friend and met about five others. Uh, and then yesterday my friend came and she helped me to carry Paris down the bottom of the, my garden. If you saw the video with the dog, it's on three levels. On the bottom level where it was a level and I wanted to put Paris to go against the trees, I couldn't take her down there because it's a huge step down and I just can't do it on my own. So she helped me to do it. Um, obviously we ran out of time and space because she only ever comes for a couple of hours. But it was very nice. Thank you, Sue, if you're watching. Thanks very much for your help. And uh, so now I suppose I've got to start doing these baby, um, doing photographs for the babies things. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them actually, whether to put them onto Etsy or try to sell them through my Facebook page or try to sell them through either Montage or Me or Cloud9. Not sure. I just don't know where the best market would be for them. If you see anything that you like that I've been holding up, <laughs> or anything that you like on my Facebook page, uh, the only one that might be spoken for is the red shawl on the Facebook page. Um, but just let me know. Um, you know, everything I make is sort of repeatable, if you know what I'm saying, but maybe not in the same exact pattern or the same colour, because I do tend to make things up as I go along. Anyway, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that this will actually upload. If it doesn't upload, you will see it whenever. <laughs> if it does upload on the right day, you will see it today, which is Thursday, I think. Yeah, Thursday. So, bye for now. Thank you all for watching. Bye for now. Whoops.